Hello YouTube, Bill Hensley here. I just wanted to make a quick video because I just finished my work week. I just drove in this car for the past five days. The last time I recharged this car was on Sunday at my dealership and I used the, well, the level 3 DC fast charger which is still not quite up to par right now. It's pretty much just a glorified level 2 charger because it's only charging at like eight and a half kilowatts. So anyways, Ever since I had my EVSC installed here in the garage, I haven't recharged the car from a very low state. And I've driven this car, like I said, all week. Typically, I always find opportunities throughout the week to plug in. And even though I could have plugged in a couple of times, I chose not to because I wanted to see, for one, could I do five days straight? With nearly a full charge, could I drive my car Monday through Friday and get to the end of the week and I proved to myself that I could. So the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to test out obviously my EVSE. Every time that I've used this so far I've only plugged in when I've had like I don't know 45 percent on the battery or, or more. Maybe I had uh, 70 percent and I was about to take a trip so I just topped off to a hundred so I could take the longer trip. But I have not brought the battery down as far as I brought it down this time around so this will be a good test for me because it'll at least, one, tell me how much time it's going to take to charge from 20% all the way back up to 100%, and two, I'll, I'll know how much uh, how kilowatts it's going to put in, which, I mean, I could do the math on that, but I just wanted to, uh, you know, I wanted to really fully test this out at home. So before I plug in, I just wanted to get a quick shot here. You can see my battery capacity is at 21%. I've still got 28 miles that I could drive on this vehicle. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in here. So let's turn off the car. We'll pop open the uh, charge port lid. Nope, and turn off the lights. <laughs> let's go ahead and plug this in. And that's how I know I'm low, is that only one LED is blinking. Almost all the time when I plug in, that first one is solid, the uh, middle one is blinking, or the last one is blinking and the first two is solid, so. <laughs> and here we go. It's the next morning. You can see I'm still plugged in, but I'm not charging anymore. The lights are not blinking on the car. And I've got my app open here on my cell phone. Let's see if I can uh, get a clear shot of this. I had plugged in yesterday afternoon at 4.30, and as you can see, this was done by 9.30, so five hours to fully recharge from 20, 21%. And in fact, you can see at about 7.30 is when it started going into its trickle charging mode, and for the next two hours, it was basically just topping off the car. I could have unplugged at any point, and I would have been fine, but now it's at 100% charged, and it's conditioned the battery. So let's see what it looks like when I go ahead and turn on the vehicle here. And look at that. I'm back up to 100%, 131 miles. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the trip here because I always do that once I uh, fully recharge. And what's nice now is we can use this vehicle throughout the weekend. We can get all our groceries done, do all of our running around, and I'll, I'll be surprised if we use more than 20 miles and just doing groceries and all the little errands that we have to do here and there but if we decide to take a trip it's nice knowing that with my EVSE here my juice box pro 40 I can charge this vehicle back up inside of like three or five hours and if and that's just trickle charging if I go the full five hours if I could unplug in about three hours and have a 90 percent charge and that would be more than enough to do what I need to do throughout the week I could also program the car to kick in its climate control settings if it's plugged into a level 2 EVSE. So that's another reason why I like having this thing installed in the garage. Not only can I charge the car fast, but I can also have the heat turn on in the winter an hour or so before I'm ready to go for work. Overall, it's just another nice perk to have when you go electric, and it's one I think I'm going to thoroughly enjoy in the months to come. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
And if you do, please subscribe, please uh, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you next time.